In this video, I'm going to show you the best money play in Madden 22, and it comes out of the Gun Bunch formation, out of the Washington uh, football team playbook. If you don't want to run Washington, you can find this in almost any of the Gun Bunch playbooks. It's still very, very much so good. Uh, it's in Seattle, Carolina, um, New York Giants. I think New York Giants were almost slept on uh, gun bunches in this game. But that being said, we're going to break down this money play for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And today we're going to show you how you can utilize the uh, verticals concept out of the gun bunch to be a quick snap option that can literally destroy every coverage in this game. Uh, with literally one hot route, it's only going to take one hot route. All we're going to do is we are going to put our running back on an in route and snap the ball. And that is actually going to be your first read. If you can hit this route to the running back, I would encourage you to take that every single time. Now, one of the things that you can also do with this is you can motion Chris Godwin, the outside slot receiver, to the outside. The reason you want to do that is because it's going to leave this little seam wheel wide open uh, to the tight end. One of the things I also want to let you know is that this is going to work on both hash marks. So you can run this to the wide side. You can run this with your bunch to the short side. If you want to learn my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to the Patreon membership in the description of this video. By joining my Patreon for just $10 a month, you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I release. We've got 13 ebooks over there. And we've got a lot more on the way in the next two weeks. Within the next two weeks, my goal is to release three new offensive ebooks and to completely update our gun bunch guide. We update the guides uh, fairly consistently as well. Now, another thing that I wanted to show, that's cover four. Let me show you this against cover three. Um, you're going to see right here that this seam wheel to the tight end is so, so effective. Um, that what they're going to have to do from a uh, defensive perspective is they're either going to have to user this or they're going to have to man up the tight end. The problem with that is if they man up the tight end, then they're gonna be in a situation where they just simply cannot cover everything. You're gonna notice right here that, um, let's say for example, that they uh, were to take their user and go to the tight end side. This is where this play really starts to become very effective. Why? Because what you're gonna see here is this crosser gets underneath the third, and you can throw that really early on in the concept. You can throw it at multiple points. It's what I call a multiple window route. We can throw it um, kind of right in here. And then we can also wait for it to get all the way to the sideline. And as you can see right there, it actually stopped running. Typically, it will keep continue to run. Let me show you that one more time. Um, well, what you want to do with this is, like I said, it's a multi-winner route. So I can throw it there. I can also wait on the route and pass lead it to the left. The cool part about it is when you run this with your bunch to the short side of the field, you're going to be able to typically get this over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat. Now, one of the more popular defenses in this game is a, uh, a cover two kind of Mabel concept. And I'm going to illustrate what that looks like. It's essentially this right here. You're going to see something to this extent. And then this guy guy probably is going to be their user okay so the user kind of has to make a decision number one is he going to go with the crosser or is he going to go with the tight end if he goes with the crosser what you're going to notice here if he goes with that crosser you're going to be able to hit that tight end in that window just like that and then if he goes with the uh, tight end uh, let me show you this again so we're going to go back to that tampa two we're going to put two hard flats we're going to put this guy in man coverage onto that crossing route um, as you can see, and then we're going to uh, put this guy in the deep middle third. That's typically how someone's going to run their cover two coverage, if you will. And what you're going to see is, again, the seam wheel to the tight end is wide open. Now, let's say, for example, that they open their hips and they open up uh, to the tight end side. What you're going to notice uh, in that situation, let me kind of set this coverage up again. But what you're going to notice now is they're going to take away this tight end with their user. Okay, so now you're going to be in a situation where you can hit either your little quick running back in route or you could wait on your crosser all the way over here, pass lead that to the left side. And as you can see, it's going to be a nice little uh, sideline catch animation. Now, the other thing that I like to tell people about the cover two is if they just happen to play absolutely perfect defense and they cover everything on the field, uh, what you're going to notice is later on in this concept, you are going to be able to hit this little wheel to the circle receiver. All you're going to do is just pass lead that uh, upfield. And as you can see, against the cover two, you are going to be cooking it. So it beats 
cover four, cover three, cover two. It also is a great concept for man coverage. I'm going to tell you why. Um, the first thing that you've got here is you've got this little quick running back in route. I love this route against man coverage. You're going to pretty much consistently get uh, 10 to 15 yards, uh, regardless of even if you have an ability or not. Um, if you wanted to, you could put the running back on an option route. You could put him on uh, an out route to the left side. But I like to do this. The reason why is because when you hit this on the sideline, you're going to get some lead blocks, like I said, between five to 10 to 15 yards that you're going to be able to cook uh, against man coverage. Now, the other reason why I like this play against man coverage is you're going to notice here that this crosser will almost always be able to beat man coverage on the sideline. And as you can see, they have to use her that route for a significant number uh, or for, for a significant amount of time. Now, let's just say, for example, that our opponent is, um, let's just say that they are running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Well, I'm going to give you an alternate setup for this. All it is, we're going to take that backside receiver and we're going to put him on a skinny post. Now, the reason that I like this is this wheel route um, typically will pull that deep half to the outside. And then I can do that with a little pass lead up to that skinny post over the top of man coverage. Verticals has been one of the best plays in the game all year long, and I'm telling you, if you can really master this in route and the seam wheel to the tight end and the crosser, it can become a play that is truly impossible to stop. I wanna thank you for watching this video, and if you wanna learn more about the Gun Bunch, or if you wanna get my all of my eBooks, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. For just $10 a month, you're gonna get immediate and instant access to every guide that I've released so far. And while your subscription is active, you're gonna get instant access to every ebook that I will release in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in joining the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right over and you can check out that Patreon membership.